Okay, everybody, thanks for stopping by. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and set up the BGB peerings. So we're gonna do all that, and that will give us a good baseline as to where we need to go from, from here. We're gonna have everything squared away. We'll have reachability inside the different ASs, and um, we'll be able to get the route propagation to work from there. Let's go ahead and start diving in. So on router one, uh, we're going to go here and router BGP1, type an address family, IP4, unicast, BRF, C1, type a neighbor of 101.1.19.19, remote AS of 119, and then IPv6, neighbor of 101.1.19.19, remote AS of 119. And then we're going to go to router 19, router BGP 119, no BGP default IPv4, neighbor of 101.1.19.1, remote AS of 1. And let's, uh, we'll have to do the, um, and then we'll do neighbor of 101 colon 1 colon 19 colon colon 1, remote AS of one, address family IPv4 unicast, activate, and then IPv6 unicast, activate. Give that a couple of seconds. We have our adjacencies up now. Now underneath, underneath this guy, we're typing network of 10 colon 1 colon 19 colon colon slash 64. And then IPv6 unicast, I'm sorry, IPv4 unicast, network of 10.1.19.0, mask, slash 24. So there we have that. Now that we have that, we're going to go just jump over to R1, a router, uh, router flutter one, and show BGP VPNB4 unicast all. And we can see that we're learning stuff from 1, and if we do VPNB6, same thing, which is exactly what we, what we want to have happen. Now we're going to go over to uh, CSR2 and do the exact same thing. So it's router BGP1, uh, address family IPv4 VRF C1, neighbor of 101.2.22.22, remote AS of 122. IPv6 VRF C1, neighbor of 101 colon 2 colon 22 colon colon 22, Remote AS of 122. Router 22. Router BGP 122. No BGP default IPv4. Neighbor of 101.1. I'm sorry. 2.22.2. Remote AS of 1. And neighbor of 101 colon 2 colon 22 colon colon 2. Remote AS of 1. Address family IPv4. Activate network of 10.1.22.0 mask slash 24. And we're going to go to IPv6. We're going to activate and then network of 10 colon 1 colon 22 colon colon slash 64. So, with that being said, all of that connectivity should be in play. Now, if we go back to Route Reflector 1 and hit the up arrow. We should now see more traffic coming through here momentarily. There it is. So the traffic from CSR2 is now coming through and we should now see stuff coming from CSR2 for VPNB6. Now CSR1, if we do show IP route, we should see a BGP route, or I'm sorry, that's run router 19, sorry. Do show IP route. We should have a BGP route to 22, which we do. We should also see a show IPv6 route. And we do. So that means that everything's working from this perspective. Now let's jump over and do the same thing on uh, 8 and 25. The real differentiator here is gonna be on XR, which you've already seen me do in intra AS layer 3 VPN, but for the sake of argument, you're going to see me do it again. And then we're going to do router 8. 
router BGP2, address family IPv4 VRFC1, neighbor 101.8.25.25, remote AS of 125, neighbor of 101 colon 8 colon 25 colon colon 25, remote AS of 125. Go over to router 25. So router BGP 125, no BGP default IPv4, neighbor 101.8.25.8, remote AS of uh, 2, neighbor 101 colon 8 colon 25 colon colon 8, remote AS of 2, address family IPv4, Activate and then network of 10.1.25.0 mask slash 24. Give that a second for the peering to come online. You show run interface gig three. Aha! You show run VRF. VRF never got applied. That's why it's not working. So we'll type in um, interface gig three. And do show run interface gig three. Um, I know this is not gonna work. Well, how come you guys didn't say anything? <laughs> Obviously, you couldn't because it's a pre recorded video. So, but you know, we, we figured it out. So, we're gonna go to um, VRF forwarding is gonna be C1. And then we're just gonna go ahead and reapply the IP addressing and get that guy squared away. So the peering should come online here now, which it, now it does. So on this side here, we're gonna go v, VPNV IPv6, neighbor of 101 colon eight colon 25 colon colon eight from um, an activate and then network of 10.1.25.0. Sorry, it's gonna be, um, Network of 10 colon 1 colon 25 colon colon slash 64. So we have a problem. It says the do show run section BGP. Okay, it says that the no supported AFI, SAFI, which is weird. Do show run section BGP. That should not be a problem. Let's see, do show, let me jump out of global config. Um, show BGP VPN before unicast VRFC1 and we have the peering is up, right? But in this particular case, we look at the neighbor of this guy right here. We see that everything looks right. So it's the IPv6 aspect of it that's not working. So that might be a do show, let's go back to eight and just validate that it's Show run section BGP. Oh, see, here's the problem. All right, so basically what it's saying is it took me a second to realize what it was trying to tell me. Was you'll notice that underneath the IV4 VRF configuration, I've got both the connections up and running here. I need to separate this. So I need to put this underneath IPv6. So I'm glad these things happen because then it, you know it's there for you to see, and that's basically what it's saying is it can't doesn't support this. You can't put IPv6 under IPv4. It's not going to work. So let's go underneath here. Router BGP uh, two, and then underneath here we're going to just go ahead and pull this command out, and then under IPv6 I thought I had done this. 
So that'll get that, and then the peering should come up to 25. And there it goes. So do show run section BGP. And okay, now I've got everything squared away there. If we go over to Route Reflector 2, we log in and show BGP VPNv4 unicast. We should see 25 is coming across, which is what we expect to see. And then VPNv6, we should see 10 colon 1, which is what we see. So now we have the last step in the, in the setup here, which is going to be going out and setting up the connection with 29, or sorry, with 28. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to start on XR16. We'll go ahead and get that guy squared away. So router BGP uh, 2. We're typing VRFC1. And then underneath here, we're going to type in the RD is going to be 2 colon 1. Remember, autonomous system first, and then the VRF ID is second. Address family IPv4 unicast and IPv6 unicast. That needs to be put there first. And then we can type in neighbor uh, 101.16.28.28, remote AS of 128, address family IPv4 unicast, and then we need to specify a route policy. So route policy, and we don't have one created right now, so we're going to call RPL underscore EBGP here and we're going to type in in and out and then we're going to go to the IPv um, we're going to let's back up a couple levels here neighbor of 101 colon 16 colon 28 colon colon 28 remote AS of 128 address family IPv6 unicast and then route policy is going to be that guy in and out go to root route dash policy is this guy again and then pass and exit and then commit so then we're going to go over to 28 router bgp 128 no bgp default ipv4 and then neighbor 101.16.28.16 remote AS of 2 neighbor of 101 colon 16 colon 28 colon colon 16 remote AS of 2 address family IPv4 activate this and then network of 10.1.20.28.0 mask slash 24 and then IPv6 Neighbor, and we can just do the up arrow bit here again, activate the peering, and then we're going to type in network of 10 colon 1 colon 28 colon colon, sorry, uh, 28 colon colon slash 64. So now we have all that going for us. We should have the BGP peering up here momentarily if we don't already. Do show IPv6. Interface brief. So that should be good to go. 16. Okay. Do show run section BGP. Let's see what my BGP syntax looks like. Oh, that's the problem. Okay. Let me on this side here, I'm just going to type in no neighbor, take this down, hit the up arrow, pull this out, and then instead of being 18, we'll make it a 28. We'll do the, um, so we need to create the, the, the peering first. So we'll type in remote AS2 and we'll take the first one here out. So that should get the peering up and running. Address family IPv6. 
and then activate it. That should get the peering up. Uh, yep, there we go. That's good. So now that we've gotten that done, so now we should be able to do a show IP route. We should have a BGP route to 25, which we do. Show IPv6 route, which we have a peering there. So now if I do a trace route, do a trace to 10.1.25.25, source from loopback one numerically, I should follow a uh, label switch path through that particular net, uh, setup, which I do. And I should be able to do a trace, for, um, uh, let's do a trace route to 10 colon 1 colon uh, 25 colon colon 25 sourcing from, actually it's this way, trace route. Oh uh, no, sorry, it's trace route. Actually, you know what? The IPv6 trace won't work. So I'll just do a ping to validate that it's working. So I'll just do a ping to 10 colon 1 colon 25 colon colon 25 sourcing from loopback loop back one and I should be able to ping as long as I can ping I know it's working so and that's like is the fact that uh, XR6 and change I believe it was they uh, for whatever reason the IPv6 pings or traces excuse me don't seem to translate uh, through XR if you're on 5.3 and older it would, but on 6.x and newer, it, uh, at least uh, on XRV, it doesn't work. So let's go ahead and do 19 to 22 now. So 19, we're gonna do a show IP route. We're gonna do a ping to 10.1.22.22, sourcing from loopback one. That works, and do a trace route to the same setup numerically. And we should take a label path through the backbone, which we do. So that means that inside of our autonomous systems, we are at a level playing field. Now we can focus on the different options in the following videos. So we've gotten all the basic stuff done. We can go in and do all the more advanced configurations and stuff like that. So this is where we're gonna stop. We, have, we wanna make sure that we have communication uh, isolated to the individual autonomous systems. And right now there's no way for us to go between autonomous systems because we don't have anything set up for that yet. But we will in an upcoming set of videos, we'll focus on option A first with BGP and then move on from there. And then B and C and then so on and so forth. So until next time guys, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me and we'll catch you guys in the next video.